Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we should have a lot of videos to do today. After the review for DeVry, I'm also going to be doing a player pick uh, SPC opening and I'm also going to be doing a lot of reviews today as well. So with DeVry guys, as the new SPC for the Serie A, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot two, medium high work rates, right footed, five star skill moves, they four star weak foot. So obviously the five star skill moves parts guys uh, is more for the fun aspect of the card. But the main thing that I like about this card is the fact that he also has the four star weak foot, which I think actually exists on his rare gold card, if I'm not mistaken, because I do remember using that card in the beginning of the game. So let's see the Vry. Rare gold card. Yeah, so he already had the four star weak foot. I remember that because the card was actually pretty decent in the beginning of the year, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, with DeVry, guys, in-game player traits, we have long passer traits, in-game attributes. We are going to be working with 93 for acceleration, with 96 for sprint speed, uh, with dribbling set up a little bit oddly. But with a card like this, guys, uh, he's definitely going to be that brick wall type of person, right? So even though his agility and balance is set up the way that it is, the important stats for this card is the fact that he has 91 reactions with 91 composure, right? With the rest of the dribbling stats being set up pretty nicely. Uh, shooting non-existent for a card like this passing stats is pretty decent except for the curve part which isn't a problem because he has the four star weak but with good composure and uh, you pretty much pass the ball pretty quickly for the most part with your center backs anyway so no big deal there uh, defensive stats set up very nicely because obviously for a card like this you are going to be giving him the shadow chemistry style and with the shadow chemistry style guys you know he might not necessarily feel like the most agile player but what you're probably going to be looking at is a player who's going to be a defensive monster, especially with the pace boost that they gave him and the defensive boost to be essentially perfect on every single stat except for heading accuracy. But, you know, heading accuracy at a 95 is good enough for this game because they're pretty weird sometimes anyways. Uh, for physical stats, doesn't have aggression, but does have strength, right? So the strength is going to work with his six foot two height at a unique body type, okay? Unique body type. If... DeVry has the, you know, the, you know, the hunchback boy type like that. If he has that, he's going to be a defensive monster. Okay. Because in this game, uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, you know, players like DeLitt, uh, Theo Hernandez, Koulibaly, right? If it's like this, it's a GG. I remember using his rare gold card. I don't remember if that was his uh, body type though, because that was literally the beginning of the year. But obviously we're going to be taking a look at that in game with this card. But uh, yeah, he set up pretty nicely. I am curious to see what his price is going to be at the end of this. Uh, we're gonna be using the 3-4-1-2 tactics as usual, playing him in the center back position. Um, the Di Lorenzo, Darmian, yeah, we're okay like this. That's perfectly fine. Tammy and Mkhitaryan up top, Egg you, I like this, this is fun, this is sick. All right, cool, cool, cool. Awesome, awesome, ultra attacking. All right, let's go try him out. Why is his transition speed actually good? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I actually almost got that too. You know what it is, guys? Unique body type, man. I'm telling you, unique body type, guys. When it, <laughs> when it comes to certain cards, it's fantastic. DeVry immediately attaches to that ball there. That pass is not like his fault. That's just me going for it away to give him the ball. Guys, his transition speed's actually good. What? He actually has good transition speed. Holy. Oh, yeah. Get some skill moves off, huh? Sheesh, Legron switch. <laughs> nice little pass off of the Driven. Oh, no chance. Super possession base too, eh? Very nice. Driven pass again. Nice. No, I'm so stupid. All right, let's check out the track back here. Yeah, pretty quick. The media high, medium high work rates. It's pretty fast. I'm just going to cover that with the L trigger there. 
Oh, I'm really trying to get him on the Meg. Sly challenge. Yeah, the thing that's uh, really good, guys, is the fact that he can transition as fast as he is right now, considering how big he is. It's because of that unique body type that it's allowing him to move this way. Yeah, just using the left stick just to collect it. So a little bit over there, you could tell that he had a small sway, but that's like me not controlling the uh, L trigger and stuff properly, right? You do have to uh, control the left stick and L trigger a little bit differently to uh, get smoothness the entire time when someone's attacking against you. Yep, well done. Just had to block the area there. <laughs> this, dude, having skills with the center backs is just fun, man. So what you notice with defending is uh, acceleration working with the body type, agility, and balance that he has. Oh, he actually gave him the ball right there from the challenge that he did. So that you do notice for sure. So let's just say, for instance, you were to use that 3-4-1-2 that I use. Uh, this is definitely not going to be the type of player that you want to use in that. But the transition speed of the card is actually better than I thought it would be because that unique body type that he has is compensating really well for it. Oh, just a nice little cheeky L trigger there. Yep. Really good there. I was actually going for the slide challenge, but it just registered right away to him. Well done. Really possession based too. He actually had an animation to control the ball better there from the first touch. Okay, that's me over committing him. Let's see how fast he tracks back. Yeah, AI wise, he'll be perfectly fine. You don't want to over commit him like that much in general, though. Direct slide challenge gets up. Not like crazy immediately, because he's working with that uh, base stuff that he has. An animation to let him go with the shot there. Nicely done. That's just me using L trigger there, so no animations to get the ball initially. What's funny is that I disconnected him from that ball right there, and... Um, when the ball's in the air, he just magnetized to it right away, which is pretty sick. Yeah, well done. Just using the body type there to get that. Misses the slide challenge there. Big reason why he misses that, though, is the initial acceleration when manually controlling him, right? But you could see that he gets back into position pretty quickly. That one we got, but you should never be sly challenging there. I'm only doing that for the review. Yeah, so you can see that initial acceleration working with his agility and balance and body type uh, being on the slower end, of course. Yeah, so he's able to use his body type to be able to push off the player, but you can see that he's not the most agile when it comes to defending in those situations. So that agility mostly comes from uh, the transition speed and defensive animations when you're actually just controlling a general area properly. It's just the initial acceleration that you got to get past, right? But the initial acceleration is usually the most important because once you have to use your sprint speed to kind of catch up, that's when it's a little bit too late in certain situations. Well done. Use the weak foot. Well done. So you see from just that run right there how if it comes down to the running part of the card, you know, he's not always going to be the best to like catch up to people, right? Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new DeVry card. So guys, uh, very, very nice to have the unique body type. Okay, that unique body type that he has is very helpful 
for better transition speed. Not the best, right? It's not like a player like a Koza or a Team of the Year Marquinhos or anything like that, right? But it's better than I thought it would be. Okay, because of the fact that he's a six foot two player. So that unique body type is compensating really well for that. Uh, defensive animations, for the most part, works out really nicely, guys. Uh, you just don't want to use a card like this in a formation like I'm using, like the 3 4 1 2. It's a good formation to try out uh, defenders, midfielders, and attackers to see their best capabilities. But a card like this, you don't often want to catch him on the counter attack, right? So let's just say, for instance, um, if your team is set up like this 3 4 1 2 that I have, uh, you know, the 93 acceleration with the low agility and bounce at six foot two, you're going to notice that for that initial acceleration part, when you're chasing after the guy, the sprint speed does a good job of compensating it afterwards, but it's that initial acceleration for the most part, guys, that is usually uh, very, very important to have, right? So that part, he's going to be lacking a little bit in, but that's me forcibly using him in a formation that's not ideal for him, right? So a card like this, guys, Again, cards like this that exist are going to be the auto block defenders, right? The AI is just going to help you out a lot because with a card like this being a tall player with a unique body type at six foot two, he's just going to defend really well for you in most of the situations, right? It's mostly just going to be defensive AI stuff when it comes to blocking because you just don't want to catch him in a situation where he has to chase after the ball. Now, I will admit, okay, I will admit that this delete card right here is a monster okay his unique body type even though his dribbling stats is set up the way that it is like i'm using him right now for this team and you guys can see it right this team i have the delit card and i have the rise card delit man this guy if he keeps getting upgraded in that pace department is gonna be disgusting okay the pace is literally what he's missing i don't care about his dribbling because he has really really good defensive animations right but for devry guys to be honest with you i don't mind him being 200k as an SBC that gives you Dutch links, some intermediate land links, because obviously the Dutch link is this one right here. If you guys actually end up going with that, or if you have the Darmian card, you can use Darmian as your right back. You get the link like that. There's a few things you can work with, right? Uh, with a DeVry card, not similar. Don't want to see similar links. Doom Freeze. Uh, you can use Doom, Doom Freeze, but it's not super ideal. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You could definitely use Martinez for the uh, interlink. Yep. Dutch for the, or Dutch links, Di Natale, Barella with the interlinks. Yeah, even Darmian as the, as the card from before. Not too bad either. And you can use Andanovic as the goalkeeper if you want. So yeah, I, I genuinely don't mind the price of an SPC like this for the fact that he has the five star skills for the fun aspect. The four star weak foot is great to work with. I just wouldn't recommend using him in an aggressive tactic so that you're not caught out constantly, right? But if you're not caught out co constantly, the card's actually pretty solid in my opinion. Th those things all together, it, it makes the card work a certain way. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.